expect to play against Kansas City? What's uh, I, I don't think I'll be playing against Kansas City. Okay. Um, I imagine I'll be back sometime next week. Uh, hopefully can be back for the Toronto game, but if not, I, it's it's tough to say right now. Just try to manage it and get in training as much as I can. I'll be living there for a while right. and just trying to do my best to get back. Yeah, I finished it. Luckily, it was it only happened like the 93rd minute, and I could jog around, but I got a pretty big kick, and I, I couldn't even walk on, on the way home. I'd actually get help from people on the Metro, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm a lot better now, so it's good. Is it the left or the right leg? Sorry. It's my right, my right calf. So people thought it was my whole leg. It's just I got smacked in my right calf. Is it swollen right now? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to touch it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We can trade if you'd like. <laughs> oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's just pretty swollen, but just trying to get some ice on it and rest up. You know, obviously Zarek's done really well in there, and uh, I think you've seen our defense uh, been ve it's been very solid in the past couple of games and you know hopefully I can get in there and uh, obviously there's going to be no patches so it's going to be good. Yeah no it was, it was exciting last year you know uh, I remember playing Montreal last year and uh, it was it was a battle for sure and sometimes the semifinals are even tougher than the finals and um, we're looking forward to uh, to a good battle you know Toronto's uh, you know haven't gotten the points that they wanted but they you know they're a dangerous team we've seen it last week in, in Salt Lake and uh, we see what they can do so uh, we're not taking them lightly for sure. Well we uh Coaches talked to us yesterday about how big it is for the club. Uh, Nick came in and talked to us as well uh, during our meeting, uh, just to let us all know how important it is to the club and uh, how important it is to the city. And, uh, you know, I know about the great run that Montreal had in the in the Champions League, uh, and they got in by winning the Canadian Cup. And um, you know, those those uh, those moments are big for a club. So we realize that it's important, and, uh, and we're taking it uh, we're taking it very seriously. Well, uh, you know, Nick DeSantis spoke to the group yesterday and uh, expressed what the tournament has meant in the past to the club. Um, and I think that enough of these guys watched uh, 2009 when, when the team had their, their successful run. And, and so they, they already understood that. Um, and, and all of us understand that anytime there's a, a chance to put a trophy in your case, that. Uh, it, it, it's important, and, and now we have one one month from now we could already be champions. So uh, we're going to make sure that we put everything we have into it to, to get there. Guys who have been playing a lot lately, and, and, and it's mostly because we value uh, this tournament. So uh, yeah, we'll have a, a lot of our regulars will be ready to go tomorrow. Yesterday you weren't sure about Donovan Ricketts uh, or maybe Greg Sutton. Did you decide the whether it's going to be Sutton or, or Ricketts in front of the net tomorrow? We. <laughs> yeah, you did that um, one. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Be a good chance for Greg to get in there, his old team and his experience, no? Yeah, well, you know, uh, it, it's not been easy for Greg, and, and Greg's been sharp. I mean, he's looked good in training and reserve games, and so, you know, he, uh, he and I have a relationship from the past, and I've, you know, asked him and challenged him to be a great leader regardless of what the situation is and to be ready when he's called upon. So, uh, you know, Greg has been really great within our group and we know that, you know, when he gets a shot, he'll be ready.